evening, everybody. I'm Donna Freddy, and I'm the president of the North End Waterfront Neighborhood Council. I'd like to welcome you all to our meeting tonight. Thank you for coming. Um, and um, our meeting protocol building, um, our secretary is going to be here tonight, our vice president is going to the meeting will be conducted according to parliamentary rules. The president will have the final word on the conduct of the meeting and will cast a vote only in the event the rest of the council reaches a tie. The president will recognize the speaker to make the presentation or statement, and then she will permit the council to ask questions. She will then open the floor to questions from the audience, and each audience member should introduce themselves by name and street address. No person will speak until they have been recognized by the president. The president will have discretion over the duration of the question period. She will then entertain motions and seconds from the council, which the majority vote will be passed. Um, before we go any further, I, for those of you who have never been to our meeting before, I just want to point out that Matt Conti from NorthEndWaterfront.com is filming it. Does anybody have an issue with that? If so, just let us know um, before you speak and we can turn the camera off. But um, the whole meeting will be filmed if nobody has any problem with that. Um, Nicole uh, Leo is not able to be with us tonight, so I'm going to take this opportunity to make two announcements. John Romano asked me to announce that the North End Friends of St. Francis House is having a flea market and bank sale for the St. Francis Homeless Shelter. That's going to be held on Friday, March 16th from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and again on Saturday, March 17th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. right here at the Nazaro Community Center. So mark your uh, calendars for that worthwhile um, event. And the second thing I wanted to tell you about is that we are going to be having a community meeting on Wednesday, April 18th at 7 p.m. right here at the Nazaro Center. I just met with uh, City Council Sal Lamartino a few minutes ago. That's going to be a joint meeting with uh, Nunick and Nura. So rather than have um, the students from Northeast we have to go back to each neighborhood group and present again, we're going to have one large community meeting. We hope you'll all come. These are wonderful, wonderful young people. They're very, very smart. They have some interesting ideas. They've worked very hard on making some recommendations for us that might might be some, some things that we can entertain that could perhaps improve um, the traffic flow and pedestrian flow, et cetera, on Hanover Street and some of the other side streets. So market calendars, Wednesday, April 18th at 7 p.m. Love to have a great group. And I know Stephanie has announced it in your room. We're going to be working together to make sure we get the word out. Um, are there any reports from offices of elected officials? Did you want okay. to wait till? Uh... Go ahead, Blake. Did you want me to wait till the Greenway? Uh, well, I'm actually going to just say a few words on that, but you go right ahead. Sure. It's okay if we're redundant. Uh, that's okay. Uh, my name's Blake Weber. I work for Stay Right Baron Mike Woods, for those of you who don't know me. Um, I unfortunately can't stay, but I wanted to come and just briefly talk about the Greenway hearing that was held today in the State House. Uh, not several of you were there, and several of you testified. Matt, sorry, they were longer than I said it would. <laughs> Yeah, I think it just ended. Um, anyway, it was, a, it was a very large transportation hearing. Anyways, uh, a lot of people came to testify. There was a lot of good testimony. Um, we're going through the testimony now. Um, if you didn't get a chance to come, you could still submit written testimony on the Greenway, Michaelowitz's uh, Greenway legislation, which is House, 18, House Bill 1803, in case you wanted to look it up. Um, and we're still reviewing the testimony. We're going to be working with the community and the transportation committee to discuss you know, the best option going forward for the Greenway and for the neighborhoods. And if anyone has any concerns, questions, whatnot, you know, I'm always around. My number is uh, at work at 617-722-2400 uh, in case anyone needs anything. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Thank you for reporting on No problem. <coughs> Okay, uh, committee report, uh, any other elected officials? Okay. Committee reports, resident parking traffic committee, Ryan Kenny. Uh, nothing, no updates. Um, public safety committee, David Marks. Captain Bernard O'Rourke, after serving the very A1 district for the last 18 years, has recently been promoted to the Boston Police Department headquarters as an assistant chief to the superintendent. There will be a celebration at Ned Devines, which is by government center, if I'm not mistaken. Daniel Hall. Oh, Daniel Hall, sorry. That's, right. That's on Wednesday, March 21st from uh, 5 p.m. until whenever it ends. Uh, the new, his replacement will be Captain Thomas Lee. He has 30 years experience with the Boston Police Department. He was the Deputy Superintendent of Mobile Operations. He's also an expert on Homeland Security, and he will be attending the very next public safety meeting here in the North End 
at the Mazar Center Thursday, April 5th at 6.30 p.m. sharp. Uh, to give you a basic rundown of the crimes that have been committed within the last 30 days as of the meeting back on March 1st, one sexual assault, one robbery, one aggravated assault, two break-ins, two auto thefts, six larceny, not including car breaks, four larcenies from a motor vehicle, and two towed motor vehicles. Just to give you a highlight of some of those crimes. On Endicott Street, Bob's Groceries was robbed on February 24th. It was an unknown male suspect, roughly 30 years old. A female employee was held up. Um, uh, there was a knife that was used. $600 was taken, plus Massachusetts lottery receipts. The, the perpetrator fled towards North Washington Street and got into a vehicle that had been reported stolen from the here. 109 Prince Street on February 11th, there was an aggravated assault with a, what looked like a black handgun. It was actually a pellet gun. And after a fight with <coughs> two victims, um, two victims took the gun away from a 13-year-old North End suspect. The police are following up with the suspect's mother. Uh, two early morning break-ins, one on February 3rd, 16 Battery Street, one on February 17th at 327 Hanover Street. Again, with the four car breaks that we had this time around, pocketbooks were stolen from the vehicle, the vehicles, laptops, GPS units, please. Do not leave your valuables in the car, especially when you do. This happens all the time. Three loud party calls were reported to 911, 27 Sheep Street, 18 Parmenter Street, and 19 Cooper Street. Last but not least, extra patrols have been added close to the Steretti Ice Rink and the Harbor Walk waterfront area due to the vandalism that happened there recently. Please be vigilant, call 911, and call the loud party line as well. Thank you. Do you have any questions? Comments? Okay. Bylaws Committee, Ryan? Um, again, just to follow up from last meeting, the bylaws are, have been revised and they're currently on uh, our website. Also, uh, Nunick has an election coming up on uh, May 19th. It's a Saturday. Um, six spots are up for election for Nunick. Nomination papers will be available April 20th. And they must be returned by May 4th with 25 uh, valid uh, North signatures. Uh, on May 14th, we'll be having a candidates night where the candidates, uh, if they choose, will come here and present uh, themselves to the committee and to the neighborhood. And one more thing I'd just like to add to that. We've had an open seat since the passing of Mario Alfonso, so um, we'd really like to have people consider running, not just for that, but the other seats too that are coming open. But um, we do have an open seat. Um, it's not uh, with the incumbent right now. So uh, get the word out. We'd love to have somebody uh, come on board. Any other questions about I missed the deadline. Was it May 25th? Uh, the deadline for the signatures is uh, May 4th. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. And um, I wasn't sure if um, Blink was going to make it today, so I just wanted to give a brief statement um, about the Greenway uh, hearing today. Um, I attended the hearing at the State House regarding uh, House Bill 1803 pertaining to the Rose Kennedy Greenway. And this legislation was submitted by Representative Aaron Michaelwitz, as Blake reported. As many of you know, I wear two hats. I'm on the Greenway Leadership Council as well as President of the North End Waterfront Neighborhood Council. So for those of you who haven't been here before, every month I give a Greenway report. Um, I'm not going to give my traditional standard report that I give every month because we're all pretty exhausted having been at this meeting for over four hours today. Um, the purpose of today's hearing before the Transportation Committee was to give the public an opportunity to present testimony regarding um, Representative Michael Wood's proposed legislation. Several individuals, as Blake said, offered comments on specific sections of the bill. In addition, written testimony and supporting documents were submitted to the committee for their review. And I want to thank uh, Matt Conti. Once again, Matt Conti was there. Um, not only did he testify, but I want to thank him for filming the hearing. If you're interested in any further information regarding the bill, as Blake said, you can contact um, Representative Michael Woods' office, but you can also um, view the proceedings and hear the testimony, correct? Tomorrow, Tomorrow at northendwaterfront.com. So it'll be worthwhile if you want to hear what different people said. Victor Brogman was there, and, and he, uh, he testified. Um, I don't think I'm missing anybody else that was there, but quite a few people testified. It was very interesting to hear the comments, and it'll uh, be very interesting to see what comes out of committee. But um, do take the time to go on Matt's website. Any questions? 
What do we expect to vote on this? Um, well, the, the deadline for legislation to be reported uh, out of committee is uh, later in the month. Um, and then bills have technically till the end of 2012, but uh, the end of formal sessions are uh, July 31st of this every year. So the end of July. And uh, we anticipate having some kind of resolution before then. Any other questions? It's important legislation, so. Um, really be worth your while to go online and take a look at it. And... All right, we'll get right along. Um...